Welcome back to Stormworks Unlimited. Today I take this submarine to just a fuzz under Mach 2. So uh, stay tuned, I'll kind of tell you how I did it and show you guys just how fast it moves. Welcome to another episode of Stormworks Unlimited. Today we have Leviathan out. This is a little older build of mine. Um, and this submarine was made to push the limits of how fast I could get a vehicle to go in Stormworks. So, a while back I discovered a little bit of a glitch, or I don't know if it's necessarily a glitch, but it's a way to make things go extremely fast. Um, so this, I'll give you a little background on this vehicle. This vehicle has 12 jet engines in it. You can see six of them here, and then there are six more back in this area here. It powers eight water jets, and they also have, they also produce jet thrust. So this vehicle can go pretty fast for a boat. So. I want to show you guys, we're way out here in the ocean, and I want to show you guys, see how far we are out, how fast this thing can go on the surface. So I'm going to fire it up, I'm going to give it full RPS and drop my throttle down to zero. Now the throttle is basically just a clutch that goes from the jet engines to everything else, and it also is the thrust spoiler on the jet engines. So I'm going to start it up. We'll let our RPS climb up here. And this is our miles per hour gauge, so just kind of watch that as we're cruising along here. All right, we're spooling up and we're where we want to be. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give it some throttle. So the PID on this boat is insanely weak. And it's made that way on purpose, but doesn't necessarily hold the depth I set it at. But running on the surface, which is a deep riding boat, at full throttle, we are running right around 370, 380 miles per hour. So I'm going to go ahead and back the throttle way down. And we're going to dive to a depth of around... 40 meters um, which we're there that gives us a depth where we can still kind of see the top of our screen and kind of see where we're going so um, we're gonna go ahead and start increasing throttle to 50% uh, throttle can see we are doing 756 miles per hour um, you can see there's our waypoint is a thousand kilometers out and we are doing Mach 1 right now so we have broken the sound barrier underwater so what's really cool about being in a sub going this fast is the amount of wind doesn't necessarily affect you all that much so let's go ahead and crank our wind to hundred percent and you can see, I don't know if any of you have ever been out this far, I'm sure some of you have. When you start getting out in the ocean, away from all the little islands, the waves get extremely gnarly. So I will actually back off the throttle and take you to the surface just to see what we're going up against here as far as... The throttle is now at negative. Just to see what we're going up against as far as the waves go because they you can see it they are brutal at this far out so being able to stay under them or in the air over them is about the only real way you want to travel at max wind out here so let's go ahead and drop back down 30 40 meters for depth Drop our throttle up a little bit so what's cool about this thing is at Mach 1, we still have fairly decent control over it. We can go up, we can go down, 
we can turn. I'll turn a little bit. Oh, I think I caught a, a wave. You can see once things go bad, they go real bad at this speed. So, I mean, we still have decent control. I'm still doing 500 miles an hour here. And I can steer. At Mach 1, I can usually steer. So, let's take it up a little bit. Let's go to 60% um, throttle. This puts us at Mach 1 and a quarter. And we're still at max wind. I mean, we're still flipping underneath these waves at crazy rate. You can see how close they are to actually hitting the boat. They're pretty close, so let's take it up a little bit more. 1,000 miles per hour, 63% throttle. It's like incre incredibly difficult to actually see anything at this speed, so we're going to bump it up more. We're going to take it to 75%. Just at 1152 miles an hour, Mach one and a half. Now the sound barrier changes depending on altitude. So I set it for sea level. Hopefully my calculations are correct on that. But take it to maximum throttle here. We're doing 1520 miles an hour and we are a buzz under Mach 2. And you can see how fast we're closing in on that objective. Most of the time, on most of my surface boats, the kilometers away, the tenths of kilometers are ticking as fast as my regular kilometers away in this thing. I mean, this thing is ridiculously fast, as you can tell. It has room to go more. I could bump the RPS up a little bit more. Um, but the reality of it is, is it becomes extremely hard to tune the PID to where I can keep it stable at this speed. Um, I have no I value in my PID uh, because its memory just gets really wonky with this thing. So that's why we're not down to 34.5. Um, we have a real low value. Our PID is at 0 0.0055 for the P. And the D is 0.5 so the way it works it just it seems to work okay and like I said this is a fairly old build of mine and I just wanted to get it out and kind of show you guys how it worked um, I hope you guys like this thing uh, as you can see there's a bit of a glitch in the game just being under the water completely is faster than being in the air completely and it's way faster than being half in the air half in the water the water line blocks themselves are what really set you apart on how fast you can make a vehicle move um, so if i had like if i was in calm water running at two or three meters below the surface and i had like something sticking up even a one block it would incredibly slow me down like a huge amount so just being completely under the water seems to be the fastest mode of travel in this game that i have found so far water jets are really strong and jet engines are extremely op so if you can power a water jet using a jet engine similar to how you would make a turboprop plane with the jet engines actually turning the gearboxes and whatnot can't really get back here to show you guys how this is working but uh, the the water jets are actually inside of the hole which is crazy but it does work I, I can't get back there to show you guys but it's a really fun sub to run uh, you can pretty much be anywhere you want in the world in no time flat you can see we are I don't know what that is but <laughs> I think we're actually revealing the map beyond where the map technically reveals from so we're a long ways out there of course you got to be out here in the deep water to run this fast because you'll hit any of these little islands or shallow spots all around them and just bang off the ocean floor um, you don't have to have vehicle damage turned off on this but the odds of crashing are so incredibly high that you have to as far as infinite fuel it's pretty much needed in this because it burns so much so fast 
So uh, infinite electric is not required, but I just turned it all on, so we're running. That one doesn't have any power going to it, but we're running 1.000 on electric, so we're staying where we need to be. I don't know why our speed's dropping off, but just a little bit. So there you have it, a Mach 2 submarine. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned. I've got a couple cool builds that I've already done that are coming up soon for you guys to see. Um, I need to get one of my buddies to come in and play a little game that I built, um, all PvP stuff. And then we have some mini tanks and I built a walking scorpion. So uh, stay tuned for that uh, in the near future. If you subscribe and remember to hit the bell icon, you'll get a notification when it comes in. So hopefully you guys do that. Uh, let me know what else you guys want to see. Um, pretty much have a lot of things built. Not a lot of things out on the channel yet. So I, uh, odds are I may already have it. So let me know. Uh, thank you for watching.